Hello friends, the topic for today is which methodology in object oriented analysis and design. In this video, I will take the overview of notation aspect of the Butch method that is various diagrams and UML correspondence. Then I will discuss the macro development process and the micro development process prescribed in the Butch method. Let us start with the introduction. The Butch methodology is a method for object oriented software development. It covers the analysis and design phase of object oriented system. The notation aspect of the Butch method was superseded by the unified modeling language that is UML. The Butch notation is characterized by cloud shapes to represent class and distinguish the following diagrams. Now here you can see in the table diagram and the UML correspondence. The class and object diagram, the correspondence is same as the class diagram and the object diagram. The state transition diagram as state chart diagram, then interaction diagram as sequence diagram, then module diagram as component diagram and process diagram as deployment diagram in the UML correspondence. So these diagrams are used at various stages in the macro and the micro development process. The Butch method prescribes a macro development process and a micro development process. Let us go to the macro development process. In the macro process, the traditional phases of analysis and design are to a large extent retained and the process is well ordered. As you can see in figure 1, the macro process tends to track the following activities. Establish core requirements for the software that is conceptualization. Then develop a model of the system's desired behavior that is analysis then create an architecture that is design then evolve the implementation through successive refinement that is evolution and manage post delivery evolution that is maintenance now let us examine each of these activities or steps of the macro process in details when we are discussing steps in details we'll have the purpose then products and the activities in each of them let us start with conceptualization now purpose conceptualization seeks to establish the core requirements for the system for a new piece of software or even for the novel adoption of an existing system there is a moment when an idea for some applications springs up in the mind of the developer the architect the analyst or the end user the idea are completely defined in the conceptualization stage the purpose of conceptualization is to establish the vision for the idea and validate its assumptions then let us go to the products prototypes are the primary products of conceptualization then activities establish a set of goals for proof of concept including the time limit within which the effort is to be finished then assemble an appropriate team to develop the prototype then evaluate the resulting prototype and make an explicit decision for product development or for further exploration then let us go to the next stage that is analysis purpose the purpose of analysis is to provide description of a problem the description must be complete consistent legible and revivable by diverse interested parties and testable against reality in our terms the purpose of analysis is to provide model of systems B. In analysis, we look towards a model as world by identifying the classes and objects and their roles, responsibilities and collaborations that form the vocabulary of the problem domain. Then by focusing upon behavior, we can identify the function points of a system. Function points denote the outwardly observable and testable behavior of a system. During analysis, we capture the semantics of systems function points through scenarios. Then let us go to the products. In object oriented development, we capture these descriptions through scenarios where each scenario denotes some particular function point. Then activities. Two primary activities associated with analysis. Domain analysis and scenario planning. Then let us go to the next that is design. Purpose. The purpose of design is to create an architecture for evolving the implementation and establish common tactical policies that must be used by disparate elements of the system. Then let us go to the products. 
there are two primary products of the design a description of the architecture and descriptors of common tactical policies then let us go to activities there are three activities associated with design architectural planning tactical design release planning then let us go to the next phase that is the evolution purpose the purpose of evolutionary phase is to grow and change the implementation through successive refinement ultimately leading to the production system then let us go to the products the primary product of evolution is a stream of executable releases representing successive refinements to the initial architectural release secondary products include behavioral prototypes that are used to explore alternative design or to further analyze dark corners of the system functionality then activities two activities are associated with evolution are application of micro processes and change management then let us go to next phase that is maintenance purpose maintenance is the activity of managing post delivery evolution this phase is largely continuation of the previous phase except that architectural innovation is not an issue here more localized changes are made to the system as new requirements are added and lingering bugs are stamped out that is their reboot then products since maintenance is in sense the continued evolution of the system its products are similar to the previous phase in addition maintenance involves managing a punch list of new tasks a punch list serve as a vehicle for collecting bugs and enhancement requirements so that they can be prioritized for future releases then activities in addition to usual activities of evolution maintenance involves planning activity that prioritizes tasks on punch list then let us go to the micro development process to a large extent the micro process represents the daily activities of individual developer or a small team of developers the micro process applies to the software engineer and to the software architect figure 2 illustrates the micro process which tends to track the following activities identify the classes and objects at a given level of abstraction then identify the semantics of these classes and objects then identify relationship among these classes and objects specify the interface and then the implementation of these classes and objects now let us discuss in details first identify the classes and objects purpose the purpose of identifying classes and object is to establish the boundaries of the problem at hand this activity is the first step in devising an object oriented decomposition of the system under development as a part of analysis we apply this step to discover those abstractions that form vocabulary of the problem domain then as part of design we apply this step to invent new abstractions that form elements of solution then products a data dictionary results from this step that is constantly updated as development proceeds then activities discovery and invention of classes and objects these are the activities in this phase then identify class and object semantics purpose the purpose of identifying the semantics of classes and objects is to establish the behavior and attributes of each abstraction identified in the previous phase as a part of analysis we apply this step to allocate the responsibilities for different system behaviors then as part of design we apply this step to achieve a clear separation of concerns among the parts of our solution then let us go to the products there are several products that flow from this step the first is the refinement of data dictionary whereby we initially attach responsibilities to each abstraction the second is if we are dealing with the database elements of our problem and especially if we are using object oriented database we can produce the rudiments of our schema in addition to these products we may also produce object diagram and interaction diagram that begin to capture the semantics of scenarios that derive the macro process then activities there are three activities associated with this step storyboarding isolated class design and pattern scavenging then let us go to the next that is identifying relationship among classes and objects purpose the purpose of identifying relationship among classes and object is to concretize the boundaries of and to recognize the collaborators with each abstraction identified as a part of analysis we apply the step to specify the associations among classes and objects including certain important inheritance and aggregation relationship then as a part of design we apply this step to specify the collaborations that form mechanisms of our architecture 
as well as the higher level clustering of classes into categories and modules into subsystems then as implementation proceeds we refine relationships such as associations into the implementation oriented relationship including instantiation and use then products class diagrams object diagrams and module diagrams are the primary products of this step then activities there are three activities associated with this step specification of association the identification of various collaborations and the refinement of association then let us go to the next step implementing classes and objects purpose during analysis the purpose of implementing classes and object is to provide a refinement of existing abstractions sufficient to unveil new classes and objects at the next level of abstraction which then we fit into the following iterations of the micro process during design the purpose of this activity is to create tangible representation of our abstraction in support of the successive refinement of executable releases in the macro process then products decision about representation of each abstraction and the mapping of this representation to the physical model there are the products from this step then activities in order to determine which operations are important identify the pattern of use among clients for each class so that these patterns could be optimized as implementation proceeds develop precise signature for the all significant functions so with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos then thanks for watching have a nice day